Okay, this video is about the MEP, mental, emotional, physical. Um, I came with that from mind, body, and soul. And what I come to realize, a lot of people don't connect to the soul part of it, mind and body, but the soul, a lot, the majority of people, unless they take some time to think about it, they think they're disconnected from the soul. The soul is something that comes after you die. Your soul, spirit, mind, body, and spirit, mind, body, and soul, however you want to say it. So to reconnect them with it, I go my mental, emotional, and physical. I put it in that order because physical should be the least important by the human being. We need to pay more attention to our mental and our emotional. Um, men has been telling women they're too emotional, too emotional, and they need to be more emotional. They need to be aware of that and be connected to that and think about that because we come from, women give birth in their emotions. They lose a child in their emotions. To me, mental and emotion is one of the most intuitive parts about a human being. The physical, the body is the least important. God never sees our physical body. He never sees what we look like as a, a child, a boy, a man, even a physical gentleman. He don't see us. Um, I had a conversation in a bar one time and it's a transgender I said, well, what do you think about transgender? And before I even turned around to see that it was carrying himself as a lady, I said, God don't care if you carry yourself as Bozo the Clown. As long as the day when you step in front of heaven's gate, you take your place. Until you bleed for seven days, carry a child for nine months, and live through a birth, you ain't no woman. You can go get all the surgery you want, you can change, God don't care, he's never gonna see it anyway. It's gonna be rotten in a, in a, in a casket, in the ground. He'll never see that. He'll see your soul and your spirit. The soul goes to the heaven's gate and what goes through heaven's gate is your spirit. And if you're a male, you turn into an angel. If you're a female, you turn into a goddess. Her godlike powers. God given. So your physical form is something that gets left in, on earth. And don't forget, earth is hell. Everything outside of heaven's gate is hell. God wants us to live our best lives we can on earth pleasant name but versus saying hell but we always say hell on earth earth in hell because everything outside of heaven's gate is hell you and once you make that aware and know that you're just trying to make yourself back to heaven's gate without through your trials and your tribulations without harming any god's children because we all god's children and you know mentally and emotionally when something's right or wrong because you got the privilege to live a certain way does not mean you condemn the other his other children. You reach out to help them, better them, better something, situation for them. But again, the mental and emotional and the physical come from mind, body, and soul. Your living soul, your living spirit, the things that you can fix and clean, cleanse before you get your soul to be the most dominant meaning you're no longer alive your soul is there now your essence of your soul the essence of your spirit if you want to cleanse that and make sure it's, it doesn't carry a lot of weight it doesn't it's not heavy a lot of sorrows a lot of things you wish you can go back and fix then you cleanse cleanse your energy it's your spirit your emotions is your soul my opinion i'm not saying if i'm right but you go back and fix them things and true confession will, will, will cleanse them. When you go confess karma, I believe, you know, somebody done something wrong to you. The day they pass away, you may still be living 20 years afterwards, but you will meet them at heaven's gate. And before they can go through heaven's gate, they're going to have to sit down with you. And you're going to have to, they're going to have to atone, answer for what the things they did to you. That's karma. I don't even believe our God passes out karma. And then he put a check and balance system in it. Be doing to others as you want others to do unto you. Don't be so quick to judge. All right, we have a forgiving God. We are built in the image of God, physically, mentally, emotionally. What would your God do and what would you want him to do? For the things you've done wrong, don't you want him to be forgiven to you? Then you be forgiven to his child that done. And let God be the final judge of that. And if that, even if you give forgive that person, but yet they don't go confess, truly confess to it, atone to it on their own without waiting till their dad last day, then they got to deal with God. That's my opinion. I'm not saying I'm right.
but that's my opinion. The mental and emotional and physical is the mind, body, and soul. Your emotions, your energy is your is the E. The mind is always the mental. The physical is the body. That should be the least important. Because God don't pay attention to your body. You will leave that here on earth in hell. However you may carry yourself. However you may carry whatever gets you through your trials and tribulations, a union commitment to someone else. It's only for God to judge, not for me to judge. I'm not going to judge, and I don't want you judging me. I only hear one thing that want to judge me. The things I've done as a man and the things you might have done as a woman. I only want God to judge me for that, if I'm right or wrong. And he'll let me know. The more I pay attention to him mentally and emotionally, God works in mysterious ways. He speaks to you. Listen. Be blessed.